So I was looking for a fun realm to play on with my girlfriend and I couldn't find any realms to play on. So they had me doing some research and after a couple hours of research I finally found the top 5 best realms for MCPE. From Pixelmon realms all the way to Space Survival realms to even SMP realms, I have the top 5 best realms for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Make sure to comment down below in the comment section the timestamp you see this diamond in the video for a shout out in a future video. Hey, what is going on guys and welcome back to the video. In today's video, we're going to be going over the top 5 realms for Minecraft Pocket Edition. So I hope you guys do enjoy this video and it does help you guys out. If you do, make sure to smash that like button and hit that red subscribe button. So on today's number 5, so we have Project Serp Pixelmon Realm. This is a Pixelmon Realm on Minecraft, which is like Pokemon. So as you can see, I'm going to be quiet so you can hear the Pokemon. We have to choose our starter. Okay, let me be quiet. You can kind of hear them start talking. Yeah, you can, you can hear them. Okay, so which one are we going to choose? Let's choose uh, this one. Let's choose the very first one. I chose Charmander. And then we spawn in a very, very big world with a custom texture pack. We got five Pokeballs. And we got like a little book. And so much more. So I hear them talking, which is really cool. The models look very nice. They talk. Okay, and look at the models that are like animated. So let's try to capture Chimchar. Let's throw a Pokeball at him. Didn't work. Throw another one. Oh, oh, I missed. Okay. Okay, I see what I have to do with him. Oh, I hit him once. Okay, now he, he, he he's coming to me. Oh, okay, okay. There's my health bar, too. Okay, the health bar looks very nice. This is actually a very cool realm. The realm is actually very nice, and it's pretty active. It's very fun. I like the map, I guess. It's like a survival. Can I mine? Okay, I can't mine. Oh, yeah, I could. So, it's like a survival realm with Pixelmon. And, like, they have custom buildings. And everything okay this is very nice this is very cool because it's pixelmon and there's very rare pixelmon realms i think this is like the only one oh shoot this is like the only one there's a server that's really cool but so far this is like the only pixelmon realm on today's number three so we have the universe realm now the universe realm is a pretty cool role-playing realm this realm is actually very you know new i've never seen anything like this before you get to get armor and weapons so let's go ahead and jump here and we got the galactic market welcome to the galactic market select a, select a category to help us better categorize your search so we want to do items you know armor full set iron set purchase you know we can purchase that and get that i obviously don't have enough money for that i'm pretty new to this realm so once we go out from there that's the market oh, let's wait for this place last right over here we have the food rations and storage so like it's a space survival so like if you've seen the movie The Martian or something like that, it's like, you know, we're in space. We're in like a space capsule right now. We're trying to survive. So it's pretty cool. Pretty nice role playing. Uh, we got food that just grows. So let's collect some food and see if we can jump down maybe. Because it's a pretty cool role playing realm. This is more fun with friends, but I don't have any friends right now to play online with. So we're going to go ahead and jump down. As you guys can see, what happens if we jump down? Oh, we're dead. Okay. Yeah, we, we immediately died. So this is like a pretty fun realm, I guess. It, it kind of gets boring because it's not too much to do, but it's pretty fun, I guess. I guess it's pretty fun. <laughs> Let's go on to the number two spot. On today's number two spot, we have the Rogue SMP. Now this is like similar to Epic Swag Boys with a custom texture pack. So if Epic Swag Boys is full, maybe you and your friends can hop on the Rogue SMP. This one has more activity so you can make friends. Like someone just said, hi, hello, you know. So you can make some friends here. It's pretty cool. It's currently nighttime right now. We see a what is this, a witch or a zombie? Yeah, it's a witch. Okay, let's get out of here. Ooh, creeper, what's up, bro? Ooh, look at that texture pack. That was actually nice. Let's collect some dirt. Oh, wow, that was a big explosion. Oh shoot. Oh, okay, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh my. Okay. Okay. What the heck? What the heck? I got shot at and I got the poison. Okay. Uh, let's eat up. This is actually a pretty cool texture pack. This is very nice. This is very cool. Boom, boom. I'm just parkouring like a pro. Okay. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I mean, it's a basic SMP vanilla realm, just like Epic Swag Boys. It's kind of sad. There's not too many realms to even play on because there's hackers. And realms just aren't good. They're so glitchy and buggy. I honestly think Microsoft can make so much money if they just make realms good. Like, if they made a way for you to make a realm through their game, like through Minecraft, like how you can create a world, you can make a realm or even a server pay like a monthly fee for it and it's all in the game you can make like kits and connect it to a paypal account people can buy them microsoft can take 20 percent like they can make so much money 
they just make it good but there are little literally people that will get hacks from youtube like just look up minecraft better Rock edition hacks whatever and they'll just join realms and start hacking on them and destroying their realms and it's like so annoying because like now we can't have fun on a realm you know but you know this is a basic vanilla realm so it's pretty cool and on to this number one spot we have the origin so uh human the regular minecraft experience you are a direct descendant of original steve and alex thus having no extra abilities or drawbacks so let's select that confirm so we're gonna choose to be a human now look at these shaders that they have we're not like sh necessarily shaders but i like the texture pack how they made like the ground look very glossy with the rain and realistic so it is very very nice and right over here we got presidential election in the blue child village so this is like a really cool you know oh look at the like lamps going too yeah these are shaders that's really nice okay these are rtx and we can sit can we sit oh we can actually sit in the chair so it's like a very nice town real life role-playing realm i really like this realm for the originality of it and the, you know the shaders on it it's very cool and very nice so let's go ahead and swim down the river we're not really supposed to it kind of re reminds me of oh yeah look at this bridge too i like the custom custom like texture packs and furniture and it really reminds me of the uh the giver how it's in, like a utopia this is like kind of like a utopian society well really dystopian society because you know it's corrupt but we don't know that yet we don't know that yet you know we're, we're playing along the, the story mode okay so presidential election find the book so let's go ahead and look for the book uh i'm just gonna check everything every department oh what's that let's take some fence because that might come in handy in the future um let's see the book the book the book we're gonna take some blocks um let's see any books anywhere so people like can put stuff in this chest so once you get you know your survival started you can put stuff in this chest for new players to take and it's pretty nice pretty cool let's go talk to that person right over there what's going on corpse of milk dog oh shoot milk dog i'm sorry bro oh shoot milk dog now let's take a stone axe let's take some of his bread let's take his wheat we're just gonna completely rob this guy in the middle of the night Ooh, okay we gotta get out of here underwater okay <laughs> this is actually pretty nice let's go ahead and chop down a tree can we mine here oh we could mine in the in the town okay we're not gonna do that though um election day is happening soon i guess they're gonna elect a new president we should we should maybe run for president maybe it, it's nighttime right now so it's pitch black let's go ahead and go to the nether because that's the only part where i think there's gonna be like brightness because <laughs> of all the fire let's go take a look in here Ooh, okay let's see let's see let's see kelly's rtx yeah it is an rtx shader okay generating world building terrain okay what's going on here what's going on here what is going on here there's the book though there's the book though there's the book oh my okay what's going on here what is going on here is that an iron golem okay what the heck is going on it's pitch black i can't see what is going on it's pitch black i just have an axe okay what is going on yo wait 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 hold up okay 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 oh it's the book Oh shoot, books are attacking me. Okay, this is actually cool. How many books are there here? What the heck is this? Okay. Well, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's video on the top five realms for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Hope you guys did enjoy this video and it did help you guys out. Make sure to smash that like button, hit that red subscribe button, and I'll